This is the president's economic team, and solving problems is a lifestyle. For the finance minister and coordinating minister of the economy, the figures tell the story. A gross domestic product growth of 2.98% year-on-year in real terms in first quarter of 2024. A 64% reduction in average interest rate from 105% to 41%. And a daily oil output of 1.7 million barrels. But behind these statistics, according to the minister, lies a determination for more success. We have implemented a system of payment whereby payments made by government are going to made, be made, capital expenditure under the 2024 budget will be made directly to the beneficiaries. No, no intermediaries. Once the procurement process has been completed, the payments will go directly to the supplier, the contractor, the consultant, the ultimate beneficiary. For the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, supporting and facilitating ease of doing business, development of policies and reforms, increased access to financing, driving investment and increasing job creation is their focus. And in the last one year, so much have been done in a bid to achieving the present administration's eight-point agenda. The ministry relaunched the Nigerian Trade Policy 2023 to 2027, and this is geared at stimulating the domestic economy by connecting Nigerian SMEs to the global value chain, thereby ensuring that Nigerian businesses have the capacity to be globally competitive. The Minister of Marine and Blue Economy also gives account of his stewardship. We have been able to achieve a ramp up of revenue to government in the last one year, and we are forced to do more. A comparison of quarter one of 2023 against quarter one of 2024, revenue performance across the agencies refers a 92% increase. As the scorecard goes, Nigeria's economic prospects look brighter than ever, with a clear vision of sustainable growth, diversification, and a thriving blue economy.